In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to clone a website with a dashboard. Now, in most of our previous videos on here on this channel, we've got requests from our viewers and subscribers and students on this channel on how to clone a website with a login page, a registration page, and a website that requires you to either create an account and then log into the dashboard of the website. Now, welcome back to our channel. If this is the first time you're seeing any of our videos, we are Weblog Media and we share educating videos of this sort. If you're seeing our channel for the first time, subscribe to our channel and most importantly, turn on that notification bell because this is the only way YouTube is going to notify you that yeah, we've dropped a new video and then you're going to hit up on that video and then make the best out of it. Now guys, before we proceed, I'm just going to go back to our channel right here and then I'm going to bring out some of the comments and questions people have been asking on some of those previous videos and then I'm even going to go over to um, some of the requests and chats I've gotten from WhatsApp. We've been waiting for the video on how to clone a website with the dashboard and all of that stuff. So let me just go over to right here on our channel. So I just have to search for um, Weblog Media. So this is our channel right here. So I'm just going to search for our channel. Okay, yeah, this is our channel right here. So I'm just going to click and then open our channel. So let's go over to videos. Um, just to locate that video, um, you see this one right here, um, this is not the particular one. So yeah, this is this is the video right here. So I'm just going to right click and then open that video on a new tab. So this is the video. Yeah, I just want to open up the video and then show you guys some of the comments and requests we've gotten on that, um, this video because there are a lot more comments and a lot more questions from people that need clarity on how to clone a website so you see that so he said wow that's really cool thanks for the video and could you let us know how to edit the colors images and then links from the cloned website that would be great help for all of us okay that's noted perfectly done 10 stars for you thank you so let's come down this video is very good but i have a question can you do a video on how to get the back end files like where a form is sent to when it is submitted also tell us the list of softwares you use to clone the um together with the back end file so you see that so nice job boss um can you teach us how to change the images on your c panel thank you for this great job okay let's just scroll down so i noticed you didn't configure the website by connecting database neither were you able to get the sql file uploaded if i may ask can you explain why it is so and how to um how do we get the sql file and configure the file on the script okay say so thanks for the video but please how about it if we want to change some features like colors images or something like that what should we do and please can we clone the back end too yeah so guys in this video today i am going to be doing a video and showing you how to copy and clone a website with a dashboard a dashboard as you've seen right here is where you can actually a website that has um the functionality of being able to create an account to log in the admin can manage um the client's dashboard the Bitcoin investment website for an instance so you can log in you can make an investment and all of that sort so guys in this video today i'm going to be answering all the questions here in the comment section so guys some needs to learn how to um clone a website with a dashboard some are asking of how to change the colors how to change the images and all of that stuff so, so guys this is what we are going to be doing in this video today so i, do, I still want to go over to my whatsapp because i got a lot more requests on my whatsapp this person brian from kenya he said thanks you so much for this video have you added the video showing us how to configure the back end okay so you see the question the particular one he screenshotted he said this video is very good but i have a question can you do a video on how to get the back end files and all of that so, so let's open the second image he screenshotted and sent to us so he says thanks okay wow that's really cool thanks for the video and could you let us know how to edit the colors images links from the cloned website that would be a great help for all of us so guys these are many more are uh, some of the things we are going to be answering in this part if you are yet to subscribe to our channel so subscribe to this channel turn on the notification bell and 
this is the way you are going to get notified whenever we upload this video because as we are uploading this video now you should watch it and then learn how to clone your website with a dashboard and then i am going to be listing out the softwares i'm going to be making use of and even the backend files the backend script and everything i'll be using i'm also going to be telling you how to have access to them now guys i want you to watch this video from this starting point to the end of this video because that is the only way you are going to um get to learn how i actually um clone this website because now we are going to be moving from how to clone a website i'm going to be showing you the software that we are going to make use of to clone this website now we are going to be moving over to um uploading this website to a live server and then once we are done uploading this website to a live server um i'm going to show you how to get your domain name how to get your hosting to actually host your website in the internet space and then i'm going to be showing you how to get the website backend script that will be used in this video and then i'm going to be showing you how to configure that and then we are going to move over to how to change images and all of that so so guys i have a lot in stock for you guys so watch this video to the end let's get started okay guys so for us to clone a website because that is where we are going to be starting from we need to get the url of our website so i already have a url of my website which i want to clone this is the website right here so i'm just going to control a and copy the website now i'm going to be using a software called htt track ht track so that is the software i'm going to be using to clone this website um this website is a free source software and you can actually come over to your browser and then you can download this software for free for yourself so we've made this use of this software in our previous video so installing it is not difficult so just come over to your browser um and just click on right here this is the first one that will be brought out for you so click on it and then i'm just going to i'm just showing you how you can get this software so that i can also do um this same thing and still get the exact same result because that is the whole idea of teaching you and showing you these processes right here on this video so once you click on that you just head over to download section okay yeah this is the download section so once you're here you'll see that this is recommended and your windows the laptop you're using or the pc you're using should have up to windows 10 version and it should have up to 64 bits installer version you can see that right here so what you just have to do is click on alternate site and um you click on close so you see that this software will start downloading for you you can see that right here so but i already have this software installed on my system so i'm just going to cancel this and then let's head over to the software so once it downloads it's an, it's an easy software you can it's easy to use so just download it and then extract it and start making use of it so i have copied the url of my website that is one of the first processes you should follow so i've copied the url so let's come over to uh, my software so my software is right here so i'm just going to double click and then open that so this is how it looks once it have installed on your system and i'm just going to click on next so what name are we going to give this project so let me just say um youtube let's just say youtube class so that is the name of the project so let's say youtube class and um, let me do something like this and then i'm going to um click on next so here is the base path so once after this software is done cloning if you want to locate this software that is cloned for you you come to your system and then you locate the c so that is where our um our website will be cloned to so i just have to click on next and you see web address in bracket url so i'm just going to paste that url i copied and once i'm done doing that i just have to click on next and then i'm going to click on finish so guys at this point you should make sure that you have a very strong connection because that is the only way um your website is going to clone a little fast so you see that mine has started cloning and we are going to wait for this software to do the function of cloning our website so you just have to take out some time allow it to clone very well okay guys so you can see that um, our website has successfully cloned so once you get this you means that um your website has been cloned so we just have to click on finish and then we'll click on exit so now let's go back to our folder where our website was cloned to so let's just come back to local disk youtube class so let's open that so you can see our web files here so let me open this folder 
wow so you can see that our website was cloned successfully so for you to confirm that your website was cloned very well we just have to come to this index file here and right click right click on it and then we open it um, with let's say any browser so let's open it with Chrome so this is to confirm that our website was cloned very well so let's just right click and open it on a new tab uh, let's come down right here wow so you can see that our website is opening for Ross. so if you don't get something like this you know that yes you didn't clone your website very well so what you just have to do is um come back and repeat the process and you will get this result so let's come back let's just wait for it to load up so it's still loading we just have to wait for some stuff to um get to load because it's just cloned so it may take some time let me control f and um let me do a hard refresh so let's reload that again yeah so let's scroll down a little more wow you can see that this is beautiful so don't worry once we um upload it to a live server you will see that a lot more stuff will start displaying on this server so but you can see that our website is cloned very well for Ross. so you can see the sign up page and you can see the home right everything is set so let's just right click again and see so once you've confirmed that you cloned your website very well so the next step we just have to do is come back here and then zip our file so let's come back to the folder where we extracted okay so this is the folder so what you just have to do is locate the domain name of the website you just cloned so you can see that this is the domain name so let's go back one more step what you just have to do is come here right click on it and then send to and then you compress the file because you are you can't upload this folder it is this extracted zip that you are going to upload so once we've compressed our file we are now ready to upload our website so now the next step is for you to get your domain name and get your hosting so with your domain name and hosting you can start setting up your server where you can actually upload your website now there are several registrars where you can get your domain name and hosting from so namecheap is there bluehost is there um zillion is there whichever hosting that suits your web script or whatever work you want to do you can just use them so let's say we want to check out for a domain name and let's see if that domain name is available namecheap.com so let's search for a domain name so if that domain name is available you just have to add the domain name to cart and then um, get your hosting so once you've gotten your hosting we can now proceed so let's just um, do that right away okay yeah so it's here so now let's think of um a company domain name and whatever okay let's just say um let's okay yeah the website um we just cloned the website we just cloned is a bitcoin investment website so let's say um let's give it a name of that sort so let's just say bit bit um web phone something like that so let's say let's add z so that we'll make sure that the domain name is available so we just have to click on search and let's see if that domain name is available so i'm just doing this to show you how to upload your website to the online so i am not doing this for a fresh client so but if you're doing this for a new job you just have to get your domain name get your hosting and then you can proceed from there so let's just wait for this to load and we are sure that that domain name is available wow so you can see that the, the domain name is available for us so what you just have to do is add this domain name to cart and then you proceed and get and get your shared hosting so now once after getting this domain name and hosting the registrar will send you the registrar which is the company you're getting your domain name and hosting from it could be namecheap it could be bluehost now they're going to send you a cpanel login detail so it is this cpanel that you are going to use to log into your cpanel and then upload your website script to that place so now this website we've cloned is now in form of a script so we are going to upload it to your cpanel so i'm just going in detail so that even if you've never cloned the website even even if you've never uploaded a website before and even if you've never connected a website before this video will answer that for you so that we've cloned the website already now we are over head over to 
trying to upload it to the server so once you get your domain name you get your hosting you just have to um zip the file that you've cloned and then upload it to your cpanel so now let's say for instance we got that domain so what we just have to do is um come over to this new browser because the the registrar they're going to send you your cpanel login username and then password so what you just have to do is that domain name you purchase so we, the one we, we are trying is bits fonts something like this dot com so let's say dot com so what you just have to do is your domain name slash cpanel so you just have to search for that okay i got it wrong so that is cpanel so let's try that again i inputted the wrong this thing um bit web fonts.com slash c panel so this is it here so what you just have to do is once you do that you search for that and it is going to prompt you to where you are going to put your username and password and remember this password and username will be sent to you from the registrars where you bought your domain and hosting from hope that is here so now let's proceed so once you've logged on to your cpanel you are going to be seeing an exact interface as the same as you're seeing on my screen right here so once you've logged on to your cpanel you'll be seeing something exactly as this so as you can see right here it says your cpanel so you are on your cpanel right now so once you're on your cpanel we are ready to upload the website we just cloned on line so once we want to upload that what you just have to do first is once you come to your cpanel you just come and locate your file manager okay now at this point i want to make something clear to you guys so this website script we just cloned now is a bitcoin investment website so and this website allows users to log in create an account and even allows admin to manage the website from his admin end so now why i'm using this for is just for the tutorial purpose of this video in some of the questions that we've got in the previous video those asking how to get the website login page and the dashboard now the truth is when you use the ht track to copy and clone any kind of website even if the website has the login page and the registration page it is just going to clone the front end now if this front end means that you are not going to have access to the back end you understand hope that is clear you are not going to have access to the but the back end when you use the ht track to clone your website so we made use of ht track so what we are just going to have access to is the front end of the website now what you just have to do after cloning that should in case you still want to um get to make use of the website you cloned if for instance you cloned a bitcoin investment website as we did here in this video you can now go and get a back-end script which you can use to connect the front end to the back end so what this back end script that you're going to purchase is going to do for you is when they click from your front end that you just cloned they are just going to log into the back end connecting it with the back end that you uploaded on the server you understand i'm just taking my time to explain this so that you understand the flow of how this is going to work you understand so we've cloned the front end of the bitcoin investment website in the previous segment now what we are going to be doing now is we are going to be uploading that front end here and then we are also going to be uploading the back end also on our c panel so now before the end of this video i am also going to be um, showing you how to get access to the website scripts that will be made have made use of in this video because i'm going to be using a back end script and then connecting it with this front end so once i connect that with this front end you are going to see how the magic is going to be performed right in this video so guys let's continue so now we want to upload the front end that we've just closed so i just have to click on file manager so it is at your file manager that we just have to do that so i click on my file manager and let's log on to my file manager all right this is our file manager so once our file manager opens if you're doing this for a fresh website that you want to use the front end on the primary domain what you just have to do is once you come here you come to your public underscore html and then you just come here and click on upload and upload your files but i already have a website existing on this particular primary domain 
so for me to still teach you how to do that i'm going to create a folder and it is on this folder it, where i will be uploading my front end so let's get that done right now so let me come here and um, do that so let me create a folder and say let's just say u2 class something like that so that is okay so let me create the folder um so this is my folder right here ut class so i'm just going to click and open that so once you open it you go straight and then upload the file that you zipped so that's cloned file that we zipped so i just have to come back right here and come to my local disk and then um youtube class so this is youtube class i come here so this is the zipped file so i just double click and then upload that so it has uploaded for me so once it has uploaded so i just have to come back right here and then extract the file i just um, uploaded so let me reload the folder um i just have to right click on this and then extract so let's extract that folder so it has extracted for me so once after extracting it um you move you open this and then move all the files here select all and then move to ut class so this is the folder we created you see that right there so i'm just going to remove everything at the back of that ut class um and then click on enter so let's go back up one level and then this is the folder we created so for us to open it now you can see that it is showing me here public underscore slash ut class so we just have for us to confirm that this has been uploaded very well we just have to put our domain name slash this particular uyt class so let's open that right now so let me just come to a new tab and then let me paste this website link right here so you see that it is going to open so what i how i got the website i'm loading is my domain name slash the folder where i uploaded it to so you see that so you say public underscore html slash your folder so that is the same thing i did i did my domain name this public underscore html is your domain primary domain name and then this is the folder where we uploaded our cloned file to so let's open this and see if it is loaded up wow you can see that it is coming up immediately wow guys this is beautiful so let's just scroll down you see how this looks so this is awesome and it is something you're going to love guys wow you can see that that this is beautiful so let's keep loading you see that everything is perfectly cloned and is looking the same as the one we cloned so now let's go back to our c panel so this is my um front end okay now so one now that we have uploaded the front end of our website which is the website we just cloned now under the comment section of the previous video we made people have been asking how to have access to the back end of the website now as i told you before now that this is a bitcoin investment website and it also has the functionality of allowing customers and clients to log in and then create an account so for you to get that kind of stuff done i am going to be uploading a different back end file so it is this back end file don't worry before the end of this video i'll tell you how to have access to the back end file and other files i'll be uploading right here in this video so on that back end file you it is going to do the functionality of now when you come to this website and you come here and click on login and then come here and click on sign up so let me just open the two links right now and show you something if you clone a website you are just going to clone the fresh this let me just let's allow it to load up before um, i say what i want to say okay now you can see that this is the sign up link and this is the registration link so what this backend file is going to do is if you come here and okay let's say for instance after cloning the website you are just going to clone this fresh interface here but once someone puts his username and password and click on login it is not going to work understand so but we are going to be connecting a backend file that is going to do the functionality of logging in and then doing the sign up and registration link so let's get that done right now so for us to do that i'm still going to create a folder so at the end of it what we just have to do is connect the back end folder to the front end of the first folder we created so that is going to make it once they click on the um, login link on the front end of the website is going to redirect them to the back end where they are going to sign up and then make registration on the website so let's proceed so now i'm just i'm still going to create a new folder on the public underscore html 
and then I'll create a new folder and say let's say ut back end so that is that so let me create that folder and that folder has been created for me so you see the folder right here so I'm now going to upload the back end file that will do the functionality of logging in and then signing up so let me select the file right here and then I come to my downloads and I locate the file this is the file here so this is my file right here so we are going to allow the file to install for us so it is in uploading already okay you can see that our backend script has been uploaded so let's go back one more step and still repeat the process so we are going to extract it and then we are going to extract the files okay yeah our file has been extracted so what we just have to do now is um we are going to move into the folder we created so we select all and then we move so this is the folder we created you yt backend so let's move the files to that folder so we'll go up one more level so you see the folder is right here so now the next thing we are going to be doing is we are going to be creating a database and then this database will help us in the configuration and installation of this website script so now for us to install this um this backend we just created so what we just have to do is the domain name slash the folder where i uploaded the backend to and then slash install so let's do that right now so this is the folder name so let me just copy that folder name control c and then i'm going to load the backend control v i'm pasting it there so let me get my website link so control c so let me come here and paste it control v so I'm going to click on slash install. So your domain name slash the folder slash install. So I'm going to click on enter. And it's going to prompt me to, you can see that it says auto installation. So we just have to click on start installation and um, you click on next step. And then you see that these are required. So let's come back to the folder where we uploaded the backend to and then set this up it says call bootstrap slash catch so let's change the file permission to 775 call bootstrap catch so let's come back to the folder so this is core folder um then this is bootstrap folder and then this is catch so let's change this um 775 to 7 okay let's have, let's change the 755 to 775 so that one is done so let's go up one more level um call storage then so this particular one so let's change it to seven seven five and then let's open call storage slash logs so let's change it to seven so let's see if we are making progress so just take your time and configure this backend website script so you see that everything is going well so we have two more app and then framework so this is framework and um, i just have to click on save and then the app i seven and then i click on save so let's come back and reload it so it should be good wow it should is good is yeah it's okay now so we just have to click on next step so now this is why we need to create our database so lo lo database lo host should be local host um, local host so now this is why we need to create our database so we need the database name the database username and database password so let's come back to our cpanel and create our database so let's come back right here and create the database for our website script so once you are here locate my sql database wizard and let's click and open that so let's give it a name ut 
D D B B. So let's create that. So I'm using UT so that you know that it's a YouTube training. So um, UT user. So if you're doing your own, just make sure um, you give it a nice name for your website or anyone you want at all. So we are going to generate password. Generate. So this is my password. I just have to copy that. Control C. And then I'll say I have copied this password and I'll say use password. So let's come back to the installation and then paste the password right here. Control V. And let's come back to this place. So I just have to click on create user now. So this is my database username. So I copy that. Control C. And then come back right here. Database username. I paste it here. Control V. And then my database um, password. So this is my database password. I copy that. And then I come back to the installation. And then I paste it here. Database name, control V. So it is good to go now. So we just have to create the database now. So click on all privileges. Let me just copy this and save it somewhere. Control C. So let me save it to my notepad. So let me save it to my notepad. So that is okay for me. So all privileges, then you click on next step. So our database has been created for me. So let me come back to the installation. So the admin username, I just put admin as the username. The admin password. The admin username is admin. Let me just put admin shift at mail.com so that is okay for me so i just have to click on install now so make sure that you set everything up very well so that you can have a slick installation so let's wait for that you can see that it's loading up right here so let's wait for that to install successfully for us okay yes our script has successfully installed so now let's open and load our website script to confirm that it has been installed so let me just click on and remove that and let's load so for you to load your website script what i did was to put my domain name then slash the folder now this time around i'm, go, I'm not going to be putting install because i put install previously so that we can install it but now our web script has installed for us so i just put my domain name slash ut slash backend which is the folder we created and uploaded our back end file so wow you can see that this website script has loaded for me so it is now this website script that will do the function of the login page the sign up page the registration and all of that sort so guys you've seen that we've uploaded our front end and we've uploaded our back end so now for us to achieve the goal of after cloning our website if someone click on the link they should come to this particular back end that we created what we just have to do is we are going to go back to the front end file and we are what, what, what we're going to do is we are going to in edit all the html files there and then redirect them to our back end file so what is our login link this is our login link so let me open this in a new tab and there this is our registration link so let me open that in a new tab So remember the sign up link that our website was previously having is this particular one you can see on my screen here so this is the previous one our website was having after when we cloned it but after cloning it we cannot use this back end again because it, it just cloned this front of the login page but we can't use it so what we are going to do is after changing it now we are going to load it again and then you're going to see that it is going to have this particular front this particular back end that we just opened right now so you see that this is the registration link and this is the login link wow this is the login link and then this is the registration so let's wait for the registration to open wow this is the registration of the website now this is the registration link and this is the login link so for me to also get my admin login page what i have to do is um i just have to come here and then do some it is my domain name slash the folder where i uploaded it to slash admin slash login 
so that is that so let me click on enter so you see this is the sign in to admin this is the admin side this is where we are going to manage a lot of stuff from so remember our admin password was admin and then our the admin username was admin and new password was admin shift at mail.com so let's sign it so this is the admin side okay sorry yeah admin admin shift at mail.com so that is good so my password is um So you see that's my password so i click on login so this is the admin where we'll be managing a lot of things from and this is the login for clients and this is the registration for clients so whichever one so what we are just going to do is we are going to integrate this registration link to the front end so this is the front end of our website let me load it again for you this is the front end of our website so let me load it so this So let's wait for that to open so let me come back to the admin so what we are going to do now is since this is the back end that we uploaded now we are going to be taking the link to the registration of the back end we uploaded now and then integrate it on the front end and we come back to the login link and then copy the login link of the back end we just uploaded and then integrate it with that of our front end so let me open our front end and make sure that it's opening now okay it's still loading so okay wow it's opening already so you see that our the login link that the one the front end we cloned is different so after editing it now our login link we have the login link of the current website so you see that our login link is having a different look so let's just open that so if you load up now you see how the front end so you see the login link now so after integrating it into this front end we just cloned we are just going to log in and then try signing up so let's come back and proceed So this is the registration link of the backend we just uploaded and this is the this is the login link and this is the admin so this is the admin so now let's come back and continue editing our website so this is our folder so now once after uploading this backend another setting you need to do is let's come back to that folder we just uploaded our backend to another important setting you should do is make sure that your .env file has been edited so this is the .env file come down right here and edit it so once you edit it so you see this one here this demo and you can remove it and make it zero and then you click on save changes so that's okay for me so let's go back so what we just have to do now is um, let's open the folder where we uploaded our cloned front end to. So this is the folder right here. So this is UT class. So this is where we uploaded the front end to. So let's open the index.html file. Let's click on edit and then let's edit it. So what we just have to do is now if we want to connect the backend now so let's locate all the login link control f to find and then let's search for login so you see that this is the login so what we just have to do now is we are going to come back to this place and copy our login link so this is the url of our login link our domain name slash the folder where we uploaded our backend to then slash login so let's copy the url of our login so let's copy that and let's come back to the index so you see that this is the index so from this quote and to this one so you see the previous one so let's control v and then let's paste so let's search for login again so whichever will just take your time whichever different login link that is there previously edit it and then put the new one you're using so let's enter and let's continue searching for that so this is previous ones so let's edit it and put our own current one control v so let's still search for if there are other ones so we are good to go so let's save changes
So let's search for registration again. Register. So this is our register. So let's copy our registration link. So this is the registration link. So I copy my registration link. So this is the one that is previously here. So I just have to change it. I'll change it to the current one. I'm using Control V. So let me still copy this one. So make sure you are not giving any spa any space. So let me enter again. So this is the previous one. So let me copy and edit that. Control V. So let me enter. Let's check. Okay, there are still more. So just take your time and edit all of them. Make sure you don't give any space. Control V. So let's save all the changes. So this is our index.html, which is our front end, the home of our website. So now let's come back and then let's load um, the front end of our cloned website where we uploaded it to. So you remember we uploaded it to UT class, so you can see that. So I'm just going to copy that, Control C. So now let's come back here and do something awesome now. So this login, let me remove this. And then let me paste this and then let's search so let's try something now you will see that once we click on the sign in link of our present website or uh, the one we just cloned you see that it we have the login details of the previous one that we just removed so let's try and click on the login link now so you see that this is the one we just cloned so let's try, try and click on this login link right here so let's click on this sign okay let's just do so, something like shift f5 so that, that is a hard refresh so let's click on sign up wow so you can see that it is going to redirect us back to this one that we just edited right now so guys this is how you can connect a different um your cloned website with a different backend. So now this website um, script is available so you can message us through our, our contact details on the description of this video to have access to this website script. So now I, don't, I, I still want to um, show you how to um, do some one more thing on this website script. So you see that from here now let's try and log in. Let's just try and create an account. Username. Let's just do something like this. So this is okay for me. Let me try any email. So that is okay for me. So I put my password. So I agree to terms and then I click on register. So it's going to log me. Wow, you can see that this is my dashboard. And let me come back to the admin. Okay, yeah, this is the admin link. So let's say manage users. Manage users. So you see that the account I just created now. You see that it's active and you can see everything right here. So this um, website script has cool features. You can see that this is managed theme. So if I change the theme from this um, place now, you see that let's act try activating this one. So it's a very nice um, back-end website script that is cool for any kind of work you want to use it for. So let's come back to my dashboard. And then let me refresh my dashboard. You see that my dashboard will change right now. But the data will still remain. So you can change to a different dashboard if you want. Wow, you see that this is beautiful. So guys, if you want to have access to this website script, it is worth 65000 So if you want it, just message us through our contact details in the description of this video and you will have access to it. So guys, this is how to um, clone a website with a dashboard and connect a different dashboard and set up your database and then have your website run. So guys, if you got value from this video, give it a thumbs up, like this video, share it and then most importantly, subscribe to our channel because this is the only way you will get notified whenever I upload any educating videos of this sort. So thank you guys for staying to the end of this video and I will see you in our next video. Thank you.